Hi everyone and uh, welcome to my preview for this week of the main race at Perth, the main race for the year really for Perth in the uh, Group 1 1600 metre railway stakes. Uh, it looks a good race as always, it looks a nice even race as it often is and uh, plenty of chances and uh, uh, we'll look first at my feedback over here. We've got Cockney Crew who set a good tempo generally, uh, have drawn wide but I think we'll get over and they can cross over and I think I can uh, start doing the widest will come over with Cockney Crew, won't end up sitting up with Crew. I think Oliver will plan to come across with it and get into the breeze. And Reykjavik, who was also drawn wide, but as these ones come across, I think he's slotting behind. So I think we'll end up with Cockney Crew sort of being basically in the 0A spot, coming across, ending up there. And Akinar Star ending up more or less uh, coming over into the into the 0B spot from that and that uh, draw and ends up out there. And so I'd say I'd say that's how we end up with the map. They, they might sort of start out that way, but the Cockney crew comes across, second on start, gets outside the lead, and uh, these other ones drop in, get good runs as well, which can lead to Mars up and leave the gadding. A couple of these guys might be wide, might end up back, uh, but they will be good pace on, I imagine, and the Cockney crew will set a good tempo. So I think in that respect, maybe they string out and maybe these guys get in, but still drawing wide and aspects, not really a good idea most of the time. Uh, so that's the map, and then I think things are basically okay. We'll go over and have a look at their form now. Gadding, the uh, war horse who won at Flemington a few runs ago at 125 to 1, that's 109 SP, 104 to 1, uh, going 116 there. That was his best, but not unexpected. 116 hit a few runs earlier in the market. So that means uh, get a roping off and made 101 on a couple of, a couple of bad runs when. The mine, he was never in best of an old one, 2200 and 1300, and he, even though he has one another trip, I think you can see his best. And he then had a couple of failures again over the long trip for me in Melbourne, over 1800 and 2000. Uh, before he came back and was good, running second uh, a couple of weeks ago, Iron Star Exhibit going 111. Uh, so two weeks off since then, and I've pushed him up to 114, he mapped pretty well. Uh, he doesn't think all the time, so I can't really give him 116, but 114 is still a solid chance in the race. Best of days, uh, comes across from Melbourne, has been racing without any luck, has had to get back, and has had tough runs and been running on without, without much room and things like that. He's got a best back here of 114 when he won the 10 of mile last year, and that makes him a solid chance, obviously, to carry the gutting uh, in a race like the railway. And he will probably be back again, though, if we go back to the map, he can through wide, I'll slot him all the way back there. Maybe they end up here and wide as well, but whatever they want to do, he's very likely going to get back. I doubt they will really interested. He has those four before, but in that gate, I think we'll really get back. If they do push forward, maybe he'll end up wide anyway, to bar 11. Maybe he'll end up in that spot reach with spot. So potentially, I suppose they could get a good spot. I'll give him 112 and a half, uh, about, about one and a half feet back in spot, and I'll give him 18 for me. Sorry, exhibit came back at uh, at its best, going basically, going 112 for its best, for its best back here of 113, but uh, has scored 114 or whatever. So he's come back through home and knocked off Gatting first up uh, a couple of weeks ago at Ascot and went 112, so it looks back really well. It is an eight year old, so it's a bit surprising to see that. The, the Bob Peter said after the race that he wasn't surprised to see it do it. It's 40 to 1 that day, as you can see there. And he said he wasn't really surprised. The horse has been working really well, and he th thinks it's you know, going better than it's ever gone. And it sort of indicates they think it'll be a new level. I can't really entertain a new level with an eight year old second up that's flown first up. Well, I think 113, which is more like a figure of a 2400, and as I say, 214 back here. Uh, but going really, really well. Given 113 makes it a gold ball chance. Uh, I should preface this by saying there's a lot of chances in this race. Uh, it's a, quite an open railway for me. Akana Star, so it's the one that's drawn wide that I had slotting over outside the lead there, uh, outside Cockney Crew. I assume that's what I really want to do. It's been going pretty well in its first few runs back, 111, 110 here. But it's best about 112. Uh, it's it's really close to that. I've given 110 and a half because of the wide gate and may end up working. And because if Cockney Crew does go quick, Akana Star should be running the breeze doing a bit of a bit of a bring the way up to it. Maybe it's right. But it's fourth up and it's really good at its best. So I think it's too much off the best there. 110 and a half, but that still makes it 27 and a half. Um, Reykjavik, uh, yeah, as I said before, drawn wide, but I think we can get over 
and you really won't spot another one who's ready to get their best dirt up. It's the kind of race where it's a target race. So like with the Melbourne Cup, you know, you you, you think of the horse's best and think that they're quite likely to do it as they get all the things to go their way because that's what they're there for. They'll be fine, they'll be fit, they'll be hundred percent fit, you know, if everything's done right they're working, they should be ready to do their best or close to it. Um, it's not a lead up for them to not sort of giving them marks to say, Oh yeah, next time I'll come to higher. This is this is where you're looking to see if they'll do their best because it is a grand final for them. So Reykjavik, yeah, 111 was his best here at Flemington last year. Um, sorry, earlier this year, uh, when it won the Winter Championship final. And, uh, and it's got 1607 for the first two runs back so far this prep. And uh, you think it's working out well with the peak. If you want 12 for a minute, perhaps 12 for a minute, only give them a half of his best, 107 and a half for being the end of the one. And that makes it a $13 dollar bet for the Velvet King is going Quite well, racing consistently, uh, winning and running third. It's last couple of rating 112 and 111. Maps really well. If we go back there, we see it's in a really good spot. Uh, I don't think it's got more than what it's been doing, but that is the top. And I have a little bit of a theory at the 1600. It's won at 1600 before for, for, uh, for this is a good one. Really good. I ran out of pain for some years last year. I won at 1600 here, so, uh, but it was really running out of gas at the end of that. So I'm theory, a bit of a theory of strong 1600. It's still getting at 111. Because it maps so well, it's going to get every possible a ten dollar chance. Tell them we're coming. This is actually my top pick of the race. This horse is flying, bolted in at Kalgoorlie two back, in, which the Kalgoorlie's track doesn't suit it. It's just good enough to beat him because it came from the back and just kept, ran around him. Kalgoorlie got up in on pace and then uh, did one hundred and seven. Went to Northern, which is a fairer track. Won the Northern Cup for one hundred and thirteen. That was uh, about a length or a length and a half. I think it was. Might have been two lengths better than what Pushing Shakes. Did winning the Northern Cup the year before, and Fisher Shakes went across to win you know, cricket score odds as well in Melbourne this spring. Uh, so, you know, the polls, the owners are telling me they're coming up this morning. To the east, basically, rating 113 is a very serious racehorse. Uh, that's its top, and that's a big spike. So, the query is if you can hold that, I'll draw it back a point that it maps, it maps to get its chance. I've got it back here, but the pace on that's okay. It maps to get its chance to hold. Pike was on that day, Pike, Pike's jumped off to go on. A different one, but it doesn't lose me anything with rent and dollar coming up. And so I get 112, makes it a six dollar sixty chance for me to pop out. Variation just went across from Melbourne for a little break, a little race uh, recently, and has come back. Uh, it's going to have to go back because it's his pattern. Comes up back here a long way back in the field, but pace is on the suit. It's been going okay, 108 there, working up towards 111 at the top. Another one in fourth up, ready to peak again. Not getting as far off. It has got 35 days left. A little concerned. He's in 110, makes it a six-year dollar chance. And he's lucky. Uh, five-year-old got to his best second up last start. Now the question mark is if he's able to do any more than that uh, because 108 is not really the race, uh, and as you can see, he doesn't have any more than that back here. It's done 108 to 107 a few times through there. Uh, whether it can get to the new level now, that's the question mark. It maps really well here, it's being a good spot. And so, yeah, the question is if it's got more, I think a little bit more, than makes it $25. Uh, Perfect Jewel, yeah, here, yeah, didn't have much luck. 307 when a bit held up. Uh, it found a line okay, but I think that was really close to first top as well. 108 seed indicate that. I'm just not sure they didn't do the back on that. So I'll, I'll come in at 109 because that's what it's probably cost about a length there. So 108, 109, chance to get a chance, but no one that's too much for a uh, very good Jade McNaught. Uh, Manolo Brown with the scratch. Regal Power. This is the horse that Pike got off. Tell them they're coming to get onto this one. Uh, good run first up from the running second to a horse that we're going to get to in a sec in Sammy's Stat. Going back to Regal Power first. Did 108 now. This is the Derby winner. He's got 107. Belinda Derby got solid 108, 107 through here. And then he's come back 108. So he's done that over two short 1400 metres. Your stuff indicates that it can do more. Uh, it is second up, and so I'm not pushing it up to 112, 110 at this stage. We're looking at 110 and a half. Uh, the wide draw was a concern for me, 215, and so it's one of the ones where like, people think you're mapping on a limb. Uh, you know, not in that back here or something like that. So this, the barrier hasn't made it ideal. It's certainly coming to be 113. Uh, I mean, what's 112, 113 in the first place when we pass? I mean, basically, that's 108 on an unsuitable trip. It's, uh, but yeah, as I said, my concerns are it hasn't done up the starters and it has to go, has to contend with this wide gate. This pipe one, it has to, it has to be good to, uh, to negate that barrier 15. Uh, 
So I get 110 and a half metres of cold on the weekends, about 813. Sammy Stat beat it last start, came from behind it and went past it. It was a really impressive run, 109. The issue is that Sammy Stat does it have more than that. Uh, well, the way it won that day, the hit line strongly. I, was, I, I wanted to bump it up to more, but it might have more of a thing, even though it hasn't done it before. Similarly, it's only four years old. So uh, it's, it's, you know, you can't say it's necessarily a top yet. I made it 111, which makes it a $10 bet for that one. I think you'll probably know that by now working out many chances in the way. Cockney Crew, my ruffie in the race, who I think had many more odds. It's been 109 here, bolting in first up, uh, and when it led and just brained over 1600 metres, it then just it was actually a little bit flatter in both these runs, managed to still win this over 1800 metres, go 107, 107. There's, there's potentially some more in this horse yet. It's also only a four year old now on the up, and it's four fast. And I, I like this pattern in horses where they do something good first up and then have a couple of fat ones, second, third up, and then fourth up, get back to or improve to a new level. So I, I, I wanted to give this a little more. I'm thinking it might have under control. Nice pattern here is 102, 107. Then this big under line is 107. You see, okay, maybe it's under control for it's going to lead. Freshened up back to 200 metres and freshened up with no problem for me at all. Uh, gets to the front, it's got the miles in its legs now for three runs of 16, 16, 18, 100. And if it leads and goes on the trail, then putting 100 in the big like that makes it a seven dollar chance of winning. So I've created this up into one. I uh, think this is a little, worth a little bit of support. It certainly, uh, certainly can place it at a very minimum, but yeah, at the, the price, I'm going to have a little bit more to do. Uh, Platoon is the last one who just Need to get it done. Get one of the six and a half minutes in the race. So I oh, think this one is the master. Of course. Now we backed this horse just a week ago, uh, and it was heavily backed. We were on eleven dollars. It started six fifty, and was a bit disappointing. It had had forty odd days off into that run. Uh, it got these hundred and seven was back in Victoria, and it looked like maybe it could do more than that one day. Uh, and then it was disappointing all day. But then again, maybe it was better for the forty two days. It's right up in class. I've actually bumped it all over 109, even up to $25. So I can't really be entertaining. It's a really pretty generous horse as it is. So going back to the front here, that makes my market look like this. Alan, we're coming top rate at $6.60. And then Sam Miller, look, there's a big bunch of, big bunch, even just here, in between $10 and $13. Sam is that well, the King Star Exhibit, for each of these from Rupert Power. Uh, it's, sorry, and Gadding. Just the, just between 10 and 13, you know, there's six horses. So, and they, they, these are the one point on top there, one and a half points on top. So that's a quarter of a length between those six horses there in second spot. And uh, and so, yeah, it's a tough race. I'd like to be on Kellen uh It is about $6 at the moment. If it gets to seven, I'll be on. Uh, simply put, because uh, I, I think it'll be really back to that class. But there's many hopes in the race. And down here, Cockney Crew, as I mentioned, I roughly really hope they're like the winner. That's my market, that's my railway for 2019, and uh, best of luck everyone, and hope you enjoyed the preview.